going guys um i got another mod for the eighth generation civic ex lx um dx any of those this even works for the si but um it's acuity base bushings um i just installed them here and here um the old ones are these nasty ones right here they've got all this crap and crud in them as you can tell right there yeah they're just nasty and old but um there's also a little bit of play too so they like by play i mean like they wiggled um when they were placed in the uh shifting arms right down here um but anyways the shifter bushings are now installed um i'm just gonna quickly go over how to install them they're really easy um but you're gonna want to start by pulling the cotter pin on both of these both the shifting cables and after the cotter pins have been pulled out then you just um place that flashlight okay after the cotter plate pins are pulled out um you literally are able to just lift this out so the whole thing just lifts and then once it's lifted then um you'll have this little metal ring around uh let me show you really quick so see that metal ring right there? ring right there that metal ring goes around the bushing so it'll just be circles metal like circles for both of those to remove it you're just going to want to get a flathead screwdriver phillips would work too and you place it right down the middle hole let me just show you on the other bushing but you're just going to want to get the um screwdriver or flathead phillips whatever this is the stock one, this is what the stock one looks like when it was down here. But uh, you're just going to put it through the hole after of course you've lifted it off the shifter arm. And then just tilt, so if it's wrapped around right here you just tilt back and forth. Hold it like this, just tilt back and forth until it works its way out. And you just want to keep moving that. And you want to move it with direction of the cables just to put, just so it's putting less strain on the cables. Um, and then you can do that for both of them. And then same thing for the one back here. You just pull the arm out with a little hoop and then you just tilt back and forth. Um, even though it's a smaller one, it still works the same. So here's the other stock one. Looks like this. This one's over here. And then you just push it and you tilt back and forth until it works its way out. So that's how you do that with both of these. Um, both the stock ones when they're in look like that there. And then this is over here. Like that looks like that one is in there something something like that um so that's that and then um, once you've taken those out then um maybe clean up the area a little bit um because it is pretty dirty if you're changing them it'll probably be dirty in the first place so you'll probably want to be changing it but um this is um a replacement and also an upgrade by going with the acuity brand instead of the uh just a stock replacement so um after those have been swapped out um, you get the new ones, which this is just attached, it comes to attach together, um, the little aluminum billet piece with the, uh, rubber bushing ring around it, but, uh, you just pop it into the, uh, shifter arm by pushing it down, and just make sure the shifting arm is facing the same direction and it hasn't turned or twisted. Um, you can mark it at the top with a highlighter or sharpie or whatever you want, just to make sure that it's not gonna, um, twist or anything, but it shouldn't. Um, and then after you pushed it in, there's two metal rings. They're basically washers, but they're for the um, bushings. One for this one and one for that one. And then you're just gonna put pressure at the bottom of the ring and push, hold, and then get your other hand. And with your other hand, while you're pushing and holding under that, this one, you just push and then you get it and push and twist. The bushing if you can if you can't twist it then you just move your hand and you just push up until the ring pops into place this one doesn't have it but there's a little groove all the way around the very very bottom um of this bushing and that bushing and once it pops in the groove it's good and then you just pop it down push it in place like make sure it's on the, the shifter arm of course you push it down with the uh, arm attached and over this little metal bar right here, and then pop the cotter pin in place, which just pushes down to the side. Um, and then after that's done, you just move to the next one, and you do the same thing with this one, except this smaller one over here is, um, it also has like a little ring at, on it as well. 
um, you can't see it from here, but with the ring, um, once you push it into the little uh, shifter arm, you pop the whole bushing in, and once the bushing's in, then you just, this one's like kind of like what it looks like a key ring type thing, but because it's got two layers of metal, but you pop down the first portion, push it around if you can, or just move your hand around it. While it's down here, you'll just be twisting it and moving. And then once that first ring's popped down, then you just pop down the second one with it as you just keep going around. And then both of the uh, little washer things are in. Um, and once those are in, then you just pop this one in by pushing down and into the little bracket piece that holds it right on this metal bar. And then once that's pushed in, you pop the cotter pin in. And then you test the uh, shifting to make sure that it shifts like it should, which we will do now. And that's how that looks pretty much and as you can tell it works just fine and now you got new bushings and performance grade actually and um, should be a little bit smoother shifting if you had any issues with that as well but uh, that's pretty much it that's all there is to it thanks for watching